Here we're going to briefly take a look at how we can work with Curve's presets and also how we can save some of our own presets. Let's go ahead and click on the Curves icon and this will open up the dialog. Now you may have noticed that at the top of the dialog you have this preset pull down menu. Here if you click on this you have a number of different options. We could choose to make the image darker by simply clicking on that option. Notice that it just applies this subtle adjustment. Well, having seen that adjustment, you can imagine what lighter will be. It's just the opposite. And sometimes these adjustments, well, they give us really nice starting points for our photographs. Again, here with this one, we can see that before and after. It's just brightening up the image a little bit. You could always customize this after the fact by bringing this down, perhaps, or changing those amounts. There also are some creative presets. For example, we can choose cross-process. Now in doing this, with this photograph, this just looks way too over the top. Well, you can change this either by going into the specific channels and modifying the way that it's changing the color here, as you can see that I'm changing with these amounts, or you can always try just lowering the opacity. Here I'll just decrease the opacity and I'll bring this way down. So I have a little bit more of a subtle effect that kind of creates this vintage feel. Here is that before and now here's after. Well, let's say that what you want to do is rather than use one of these presets, you want to create one of your own. Let's go ahead and get rid of this curves adjustment. We can do so by clicking on the trash can icon here or down here in the layers panel. Either one, it does the same thing. So let's go ahead and delete that. Next, I'm going to click on the curves adjustment layer icon. Then what I want to do is I want to navigate to my blue channel. I'm interested in making this image much more yellow. So I'll go ahead and click and drag that down. Then I'll go into my red cyan channel, and I'm also going to add some cyan by clicking and dragging down. Again, I'm interested in trying to make this subtle type of a color effect. Well, here it's too strong, so I'll modify it. I'll bring this back up a little bit, go to my blue-yellow channel, bring that back up as well. And here's my adjustment. Here's before and then after. The skin tones look a little bit different, and I've changed the way the image looks. I also want to go to my RGB channel and just brighten this up and then add just a touch of contrast. Let's say that this is one way that I like to process my images or just an option that I want to have. Well, you can save this out as a preset by clicking on the flyout menu in the far right hand corner of the curves dialog. Here we'll choose save curves preset and I'll go ahead and save this one as co-color1. Then click enter or return to save that. We can then access this preset from this pull down menu. Let's go back to the default setting. Here it is without any color adjustment, straight out of the camera. Next, go to the preset. We can then choose our preset. And here we could further customize this, or as we've seen before, we can always lower the opacity of the adjustment so that we have a more subtle type of an effect. The whole point here is that anything that you want to save in regards to curves you can do so by presets. So if ever you find yourself doing something over and over again, or doing something in a similar way to multiple images, it might be helpful to create a preset so that you can simply access that preset from that pull-down menu and then further modify your photograph.